Welcome to Attainable Green. I'm Jess, and today we're going to talk about how to take care of a kaisis orchid. Now this is a requested video by Trees Epiphytes, and hopefully this will answer a couple questions for you. This is going to be a very general video because it's just going to contain information that I've gathered and a little bit about how I'm growing my current kaisis. I haven't bloomed a kaisis yet, um, so if any of you have additional information about how to grow this plant, please leave it in the comments below. All right, so let's get started. The kaisis are a genus of plants that are typically found in Mexico and Central America. For the most part, they are found in damp, wet forests, um, along cliffs, and near some streams. So they definitely like a lot of high humidity and moisture. These plants are really interesting because they have very tapered pseudobulbs, uh, fairly thin leaves, and they are semi-deciduous. So instead of every year they lose its leaves, um, they can hold on to the leaves for quite some time, but eventually the bulbs will become leafless and then new growths will emerge and also new flower spikes. As the plant matures, the pseudobulbs will become more pendant looking, and that's the nature of this plant. So it's totally normal for the pseudobulbs to start hanging and drooping off the side of the pot. The flowers on this plant tend to be waxy and fragrant, and that makes for a very nice display. Some sources say that this plant is semi-terrestrial. So even though it's hanging in trees, um, the roots of these plants definitely dictate more towards a um, terrestrial type environment. Basically, that means um, this plant isn't really known for having aerial roots, but the roots definitely penetrate media and they like to stay fairly moist in there. Also, the roots of these plants are fairly interesting. They're quite fuzzy and very similar to Paphia petalum roots in that sense. So onto the culture. As for light, it likes bright indirect light. Since the leaves are very thin, it can be prone to sunburn. Um, aside from that, it can take as bright of light as you can give it. It tends to like intermediate to warm temperatures, so it can handle anything down to 55 or so at night up to 85 degrees during the day. So as the temperature increases, it's best to have high humidity as well. So it prefers humidity around 50% or more. The higher humidity helps the plants grow and extend its leaves more fully and also it prevents the spider mites from attacking the delicate leaves. The media is not as important. Um, but you just want to make sure that it retains enough moisture to keep the plant hydrated, but also well draining so it doesn't get root rot. As for watering, I think it tends to want more water um, during its active growing season. So when you see new growth start and as it's maturing, it's suitable, but it just needs as much and a lot of fertilizer and water to keep it growing to its max potential. As the winter season approaches and the leaves start to fall off of the plant, um, decrease the watering and the fertilizer. It doesn't take a full dormancy like catacetums. It can benefit from a winter's rest um, in which you decrease the watering and just maintain enough moisture in the pot so that the pseudobulbs don't shrivel in the winter time. When the temperatures warm up and the new leaf starts, then that's when you just start watering. There's no rule about you know, waiting a certain number of roots to grow or inches of growth. Just when you see new growth growing, start watering. And in some cases, you can just water throughout the year. Um, I think they're able to handle that. Just be careful not to get root rot. It seems like these plants don't take too well to repotting. So the best time to repot will be right when new growth starts and new roots are emerging. That way you don't damage any additional roots and don't set the plant back. So the quick overview of how I'm growing the Kaisis Lemming Hay in my current environment. Um, I have it in a west facing window that gets afternoon light. Um, I water it fairly regularly during the growing season so that the new growth can grow to its max potential and when it starts to mature its pseudobulb, it will be nice, flat, and plump. In this current setup, the temperature ranges from 60 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit, and the humidity is between 40 to 60%. Um, it's potted in a mix of small bark and perlite, and so far, it's just been pretty easy to take care of. Um, I haven't had any problems with this one, and it hasn't actually gone through a full uh, dormancy. It did lose a couple of leaves on the pseudobulbs and it 
retained probably two or three leaves um, in the winter time. However, my foster cat actually loves the leaves on this and basically ate all the leaves so they were leafless bulbs during the winter to spring season. I did notice that as a new growths have emerged this season, um, there was a little bit of wrinkling in the leaves which indicates not enough um, humidity or moisture in the pot. So I tried to bump up, um, so I definitely repotted this plant um, when I saw new roots coming in to a slightly bigger pot. And I've been trying to keep it as well watered as possible. Um, I, try, I don't wanna let the media dry out too much while uh, the growths are coming in but I know once the suitable matures, I can relax a bit on the watering and just let it dry out for a day or two before continuing on. The plant I have is fairly small. It has two small pseudobulbs when I first got it. It grew two pseudobulbs last year and this year has another set of two growths. So blooming size for this species is when the pseudobulbs are about six to eight inches long and the bulbs have started to create a pendant effect. I have a ways to go since the biggest suitable bulb I have is about three inches and hopefully this year's growth will be a lot bigger, but I still have a ways before it's fully mature and in bloom. So that is my limited experience with um, the Kaisis and that's just my general care uh, guidelines that I'm using to grow this plant. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments. And if you have experience growing this plant and have a mature specimen, please share your knowledge in the comments below. Well, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Attainable Green, for all the latest updates. And hit the bell so you never miss an episode. Bye.